Yehova Svaot Elohim. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Please fill me and lead me and cover me and stir me and speak through me with your Ruach HaKodesh that it may speak your written words with boldness and humility to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen. We'll start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yehovah, pay careful attention and respond. Yehovah is our power and authority. Yehovah works in unity with himself. And you shall act upon your love to Yehovah with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Yod, hey, vav, hey. Hand, behold, nail, behold. Isaiah, Yeshayahu, chapter 53. Who believes our report? To whom is the arm of Yehovah revealed? For before him he grew up like a young plant, like a root out of dry ground. He was not well-formed or especially handsome. We saw him, but his appearance did not attract us. People despised and avoided him, a man of pains well acquainted with illness. Like Like someone from whom people turn their faces, he was despised. We did not value him. In fact, it was our diseases he bore, our pains from which he suffered. Yet we regarded him as punished, stricken, and afflicted by God. For he was wounded because of our crimes, crushed because of our sins. The disciplining that makes us whole fell on him, and by his bruises we are healed. We all, like sheep, went astray. We turned each one to his own ways. Yet Yehovah laid on him the guilt of us all, of all of us. Though mistreated, he was submissive. He did not open his mouth like a lamb led to be slaughtered, like a sheep silent before its shears. He did not open his mouth. After forcible arrest and sentencing, he was taken away, and none of his generation protested. His being cut off from the land of the living for the crimes of my people, who deserve the punishment themselves. He was given a grave among the wicked. In his death, he was with a rich man. Although he had done no violence and had said nothing deceptive, yet it pleased Jehovah to crush him with illness, to see if he would present himself as a guilt offering. If he does... He will see his offspring, and he will prolong his days. And at his hand, Yehovah's desire will be accomplished. After this ordeal, he will see satisfaction by by his knowing pain and sacrifice. My righteous servant makes many righteous. It is for their sins that he suffers. Therefore, I will assign him a share with the great. He will divide the spoil with the mighty. For having exposed himself to death and being counted among the sinners while actually bearing the sin of many and interceding for the offenders. How can we learn to love our Creator after reading this awesome 53rd chapter of Isaiah Yeshayahu? We can trust the written words of Yehovah. Yeshua, the servant of Yehovah, is clearly described, a figure of the opposite of King Saul, someone who will bear the diseases of the people, who will suffer pain. Others will think of him as punished by Elohim because of his sickness. He will be wounded because of our crimes, crushed because of our sins. Trust that by his bruises we are healed. Know that we are like sheep that went astray, all turning each to his own way. Trust that you have all laid his servant the guilt of all of us. Trust that the sacrifice of you have all was like a lamb led to be slaughtered, like a sheep silent before its shears, and no one protested, even the servant in total silence. 
trust that the servant did all this for the crimes of his people who deserved the punishment themselves and was given a grave among the wicked. Trust that the servant had done no violence and said nothing deceptive. Trust that it pleased you have all to crush his servant with illness to see if he would present himself as a guilt offering. And at his hand, you have all, you have all's desire will be accomplished. Trust that by his pain and sacrifice, the righteous servant of you have all makes many righteous. For it is for their sins, the servant suffers. Trust that the servant was being counted among the sinners while actually bearing the sins of many and interceding for the offenders. How can we love others as Yeshua, the servant, loves us? We can point all to the sacrificial lamb of Yehovah, the servant, Yeshua, the Messiah. Bear one another's burdens, proclaim the righteous servant of Yehovah was sacrificed for our sins. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. We'll end with the Arionic blessing during this week of Pesach using the name. Yehovah will kneel before you presenting gifts, and he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yehovah will illuminate the wholeness of his being towards you, bringing order, and he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. You have all lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and set in place all you need to be whole and complete. Shalom, shalom.